what is up guys major magpie and welcome back to city skylines this is my city of magtropolis uh, and in today's episode i very much want to focus on this area here now guys uh for a little while now i've been a bit unsure as to what i want to do here but i've had a good old think about it and i've got a good idea of what i want to do so i figured today in this episode we could attack this one uh, but, there is a little but, we have a little issue, which just crept up on me as I was saved up some money, and see there we've got almost 1.2 million, uh, but we had an issue of power, we ran out of electricity, just click on that menu, I have taken the liberty to boost it a little bit with a solar power, um, this thing here, what's it called? Solar power plant. It gives us extra 102 megawatts. But yeah, we did run out. Um, this is obviously just a temporary solution, so we need a more permanent fixture. We could go with another hydro power plant, but I don't want to, because I did download something off the Steam workshop quite a while ago now that I'm going to put in instead. Only issue with it is it is bloody expensive. Hence the reason why I've saved up 1.2 million, because it's going to eat a good two-thirds of that. But yeah, we're going to go and do that now, before we do anything else. Uh, I am thinking about rejigging this again, but that'll be for another episode. Or we'll possibly off camera and just show you what I've done, because like, this was supposed to be a permanent fixture and it just isn't. <laughs> but anyways, hydropower plant. I want to put it on this corner here. Because this road, I'm pretty sure, is staying. So, if we go to our electricity menu, here it is here. Hydrogen power plant. There we go. 800,000. <laughs> That's what it cost. 800,000. But, you know, it's going to produce 2,880 megawatts of electricity for us. So, that is going to be more than enough to run the city on its own. It does mean that all of the power... Sources, all the power plants, nuclear power plants and things like that can probably go. Because we're not going to need them anymore. We'll be producing more than enough. So, let's go ahead and put this in. And I want to put it here. Like I say, so 800,000. Um, boom, it's gone. <laughs> there she is. Yeah. Right, so... Let's connect this up to the grid then. Connect this up to the rest of the guy so we can actually benefit from our power. Our extra power. I'm just going to go with this for the time being. And we're going to have to go up and over that. There. To there and then back down again. There and then just connect on to there. There we go. Right, so let's have a look at our production then. We are producing 2,944 megawatts. Woo! <laughs> but we're only consuming less than a thousand. So we can get rid of anything not necessary to try and reduce, like try and our, increase our weekly income. Because that has been more than cut in half. So, solar power plant can go. Yes. Solar power plant can go. Yes. Nuclear power. I want to see how much this is costing, actually. Nuclear power plant is costing us 6,400. So we'll get quite a lot back off that. Let's get rid of it. Boom. Um, I'm going to keep these, yeah, large incinerators. These do produce power, but they are obviously dealing with our garbage. Uh, it's their primary focus. So they're going to stay, but they will get moved eventually. Uh, the hydrogen pop, uh, this... This isn't a hydrogen power plant. What is it? This is a, a hydro power dam, a power plant. Uh, that is going to stay because it's a good spectacle. Looks cool. Yeah, I really was thinking about putting another one up above here, but I think I'll just reduce that one's power. I'm not sure, so I uh, might still do that at a later date, but not for now. We are happy with our little hydrogen power plant. Yay! <laughs> Oh, it's not producing what it said it would. <laughs> it's alright, we're still making tons of electricity. I'll not have to worry about that for a long time, that's for sure. 
Anyways, over here. This is where I want to focus most of our attention. I do want to do a little bit of foliage downtown. Uh, in downtown Manhattan. But we'll drop one of that soon. I want to do something with this. And we're going to start with a road. A six lane road with trees like this one. That one there, six lane with decorative trees. And I'm going to run it, a straight road, all the way through, um, to, hmm. Try to make it look as straight as possible with that road coming off. So I'm going to go with that, boom. And then carry it on to there, boom. There we go. We're going to have to do some dezoning, unfortunately. Sorry, all you guys, you need to go. So, just get the paint tool, just paint all of these out. Get out, get out, get out. Do, 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 do. Get out, get out, get out. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to carry it away sometimes. Right. I'm just going to pause because I'm not sure how the power situation is. So, I want to just take a quick look. Actually, he's hooked up on that side, so that doesn't matter. I'll take that back. We can play again. Uh, let's just go on this power line uh, and we're going to remove this road from there all the way up here That's there, there. Uh, and that will eventually go as well but I'll drop onto that in a second I don't want to do too much too soon I made that mistake over there almost lost the city uh, but yeah back on the roads I'm what we've got here, this is a six lane with trees. And let's continue that. Uh, I do want to keep that bridge like that, so it's going to stay. Let's get back on our road menu. Six lane with trees. This is going to be free form. And we're going to free form it onto there. Uh, like that. Boom, boom. Cool. Ah, I forgot about that. I forgot about the metro station. Actually, we can link that up with a road. That's not an issue. Uh, yeah, right. This bit of the road now. I want to get a two lane. Uh, just with a grass verge. One lane going each direction. And we're on free form. And I just want to run like a little loop through here. That a little tight. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just run a straight road on that if I can. That that is somewhere. Ah, of course you go that direction. Um, that's yeah, not the end of the world. We'll run it there. Just changes the plans ever so slightly, but like I say, not to worry. I'm going to live with it. Uh, right, we're going to take this road up to here. There we go, like that. So we have a nice little semicircle thing going on there. We might as well have run this road in here all the way through as well now. Uh, it wasn't part of the original plan, but it could look pretty good. Um, and it gives us an opportunity just to pack this out quite, quite densely. Which would be nice. And um, just go there, like so. And cool. Right. Um, I'm going to leave this area vacant for the time being. One thing we do want to do up here, the building that I was looking at, and the issue with this is it's, it is quite a, a steep hill. So getting buildings to fit on it is going to be a little bit difficult, but we're going to give it a go, and we're going to start off with a level two building in this year, the Bell Center, which I believe belongs to Montreal's ice hockey team. Just a guess, don't know. I don't know much about ice hockey, if anything at all. Uh, I'm gonna... The actual building, you can see, if you look at the footprint, the building that's in green is the actual footprint that needs to be put on it, but the 
rest of the building also hangs over the road. If that makes any sense. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense to me. Uh, right, should we put it on this road? No. We're going to go on this road. And I'm going to put it there. Because you can see the black bit on the back actually just sits on the side of our existing road. So, I'm going to go there. 20,000. Boom. Let's have a look at this then. Ho ho ho! Look at the size of that beast. Yeah, you can see it was a good decision. This was the edge of the black bit. Uh, where's the green bit? The actual footprint of the building? You can see it there. It's highlighted blue. It's not that much. So I could actually put it across a road if I was stupid enough. But yeah, that looks pretty nice. <laughs> and that is the start of the building, the building of this area. And uh, one thing we could do, right? We've got a demand for housing, uh, industry, and commercial. But commercial is the, the most sought after one. So we're going to need some commercial in and around here somewhere. Which is alright, because that was the idea with this area. It's just thinking how I want these roads in here to go. I don't want to run them off here, I want to leave that relatively traffic free for now, so I think I might run them this direction. One big road along the back here, next to our highway. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Right, we're going to go with a six lane with a grass verge, and that is it. Let's just do straight roads. Off here. So as close as we can get them, so pack the area out as much as possible. Uh, I'm only going to take it to there for now. I'm going to run one straight off that one as well. So I don't want to interlock the junctions too much. Uh, and the same with this one. So I'm going to go here. Letters. There we go. Try and knit these ones as close to possible, as close together as possible. It's that one there. Cool. Right. Let's run a road down the back of this then. Probably just a little two lane with a grass verge. Like that. And. I've got a nice little plan for this area here. So, we have been doing alright for time, so I'm going to go ahead and crack on with that. So let's have a go at this, see if I can get it to work. Because uh, this might get a little complicated. So, one thing I'm going to need to do first is find the building. Uh, which I think was a level 6. Yeah, this yeah, the gate tower building. And I would like, because I mean, this has a road that runs through it. I don't know if you can see with that stupid sign right on the way, but. Right, you can see there. It's got a road running through it. So I want to run that road across this highway. I think that would be awesome. Yeah, so I'm just checking the actual footprint of the building itself. Because it is going to have to sit that way. If you look at how it hooks onto the road. Right, let's get it a road then. We're just going to go for a four lane. Yeah, just a grass verge. And I'm gonna run a straight road from there all the way through to here. Like that. I'll connect them up in a minute. I wanna focus on this bit here first. So we'll get that building again. And that's ah, oh, it doesn't fit. There. Okay, so we're gonna have to Back to the drone board. Drone board of that. Get rid of all of this end bit as well. Take two. I'm going to throw a bit further in. Hopefully it'll fit this thing. And 
buttons, unique buttons even, and there it is there. Please fit, please fit. Yes, that's cool. It goes in there nicely. So I'm going to run it from there. Yeah, boom. Hey, hey. So look at that. Look at that. That's quite a nice little building as well. Let's see if I can get this road over then. So we need to go across our highway on this side. So let's just go and find a single only road. I don't know which way the actual road runs. There's no arrows indicating which direction the road runs. So we'll just have to wing it and hope for the best. I'm going to guess that it goes... And uh, through that way, I want to say. Let's try it. We're going one way, two lanes. From here to here. Look at that. <laughs> yes. I think I'm going to need another build on the other side for it to go through because I would like to join it up with two. So we're going to go with. I will need to run two lane, one way road. Long here. Ideally. Put a grass verge on it and we're gonna run it. Move a little bit of gaps out and put some trees in just to separate it from the highway. I'm gonna run it from here through to about there. See so yeah, I will chop that down and make it fit whatever decoration we'll put in around here. But let's get that building again. Can we put it in again with a little way? Ah, what a shame. So it's not going to let well. Not going to let well. Never mind, then we'll just have to have one. Means that it doesn't make any difference how we put it across here then. I'm going to bridge it. Now, just to make sure that it's going in the right direction. To about there. A bit of a shame it's like that. I'm not sure what's going on there. Hopefully it'll get a fix. Uh, okay. On the other side. We'll do free form for this one. Because well, we're going to have to. I'm going to run it from here. To. There. And we're going to go up. There. And we need to go up again. There. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Come on, play ball. Play ball. Let's see if the traffic will use it then. It's a shame I can't have multiple of them. I would like to put like four of them in, you know, like one there. That'll go into the building on the other side and come out of the other side of it, sort of thing. Uh, and then the same going back in the opposite direction. But obviously you'd need a right hand one and a left hand one. I think that, yeah, that's right hand. Uh, I don't think there is a right hand and a left hand one. But that looks cool. Shame about that in there. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get a fix by the modder of this particular building, and then that'll fix that. That'll look awesome. But you can see that the road does actually go through it, just the building's kind of in the way or something, because there's a lamppost in it. I don't know. Keep an eye on that one. Uh, okay. Well, I need to get the six-lane road out again. Uh, just do straight. I'll just complete these little avenues here. Got one. Uh, whoops. <laughs> oh. There. And then that. Uh, to there. I'm actually going to do that. And run you to there. 
nyt se on alas. Ne moin. Works that way. Delete the loose ends, so remove that and remove that. And there we go. I can pack this out with some sort of zone. What should we call it? I'm gonna need a name for this area now, won't we? It's starting to get a big old size. In fact, that's what we're gonna do now. We're going to give this district a name and I'm gonna connect them up with electric. Because obviously they're not happy about that. Right, districts. Where the bloody hell do you have districts again? There we go. We want to paint a district. So downtown Manhattan runs to the edge of our highway, so this can run the other side. Um I'm going to include the magpie wheel in this district here. So let's paint it. We use the big tool to start with. Uh, all the way. Probably go a bit further up, but once I've decided what is going on up that way, we're going to run it to the edge of this road. I realise that's going to be a separate thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Let's paint this way first, then. Don't like that. Right, so this is all going to be one district. It's going to include this train station. It's downtown bit, yeah. Um, you need to run down this road. Like I say, it's going to include the wheel just to the edge of that road up that way and then up that way like so uh, yes we need to run all the way to the edge of there Everything. Like this. There we go. Just run it further up. Uh, up onto that avenue, probably, and then up a little further. Oh, that's quite a sized district. Obviously, as we put the other districts next to it, we'll tidy it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm going to call this... Um, just because it's on a massive hill, I'm going to call it Hilltop Heights. Hill top height. Cool. Right, let's just make sure that changes. Yep, cool. There we go. So we have Hill Top Heights. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna rename Briarwood Heights. I do have a name picked out for this area here where our lake is gonna be. Um but I'll do that when we've put the lake in. What's the matter with these guys down here? They're abandoned. Yeah, what a shame. <laughs> Couldn't keep up with the competition, that's his problem. Right, let's go ahead and zone this area in here and then call it a day on this episode, I think. So, what should we go for? He's in this area around here. Maybe some low density residential. I think that might be a good idea. So, go. Oh. Let's go... Actually, no. Probably to there. I'm going to go with a little bit of... Low density commercial in here. Yeah, low, low density residential even. And a little bit here, I think. Oh no, actually no, 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 this is going to be high density. 
High density residential for that bit there. Cool. Right, in and around this area here, we're going to go high density commercial. All about there. Just want to remove that bit from there and just make that low density residential as well. Cool. Right, we need some offices as well, so let's put in some offices. A big paint tool. This can all be offices here. And this was this bit as well. And then a little bit more commercial down here. Yeah. Space in there. I can run a little park or something through there. I want to have some high density commercial here as well. And we need some more high density residential, so that is going to be. All of this here. Uh, and this little bit as well. Oh, what the hell, this bit as well. Like a soul. Hey, hey, look at that. One thing that I would like to put in, and this will end this episode, it's going to be. If I can find it. Bear with us two seconds, guys. Be back in a minute. Right, guys, this is what I was looking for. The Paradox Plaza. This plaza has become a traditional gathering place for all gamers and game developers around the world. Game enthusiasts visit Paradox Plaza to share ideas and get inspired by others. Yes, they do. Right, so I'm gonna put that in down here, I think. You know what it is? 1000? Boom! Yes! <laughs> Too many escapes. It's a little bit wonky. It's going to be alright down here, I feel. It's going to be quite nice. Right. Yes, guys, let's go ahead and leave this episode here. Then I'm not going to bother connecting this building up with an electric. Once the other guys. Oh. Once the other guys build up and develop around here, that'll obviously get its electric light at once. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to get something in here, and hopefully this will fill out nicely with our little bell centre. Doing the world of good. Hey, hey, that's a big old building. Anyways, guys, until the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.